Okay guys, um, I just want to show you this quickly. This isn't my typical car video, but it is related to my hoist here. I have um, a, a Wheeltronics or a Jim Bean hoist in my shop and the switch here actually fried. Uh, it was it actually had the wrong switch in it. Anyways, I went to replace this switch. It was super expensive, like a couple hundred bucks to replace the switch and stuff. And it turns out uh, when I get looking at what they were selling me is they're selling you a micro switch. So uh, this is a motor rated micro switch. Uh, I'll talk about that in a second. And then this little thing here, this little piece of plastic, which uh, the micro switch just clips into here. And when you push down on the button, it presses in the micro switch. Okay. Now, the only thing you need to look for is this is a two horsepower uh, 250 volt or 120 volt. I mean, there's different ratings on these micro switch. Just go to your local electronics store and uh, find out what micro switch uh, has the ratings you need for your motor. Okay, this is um, this is a V7-1Z19E9. Um, I'll try to put that in the description as well. This here is actually from an arcade. Uh, for, well, for an arcade machine. So it's designed for micro switches. Um, you put the micro switch on here on the arcade machine. This is the coin op one. So every time I push in here, I get more coins for my hoist. But the funny thing is, uh, you don't want to use the micro switch that comes with these. You want to use this one. Now, here's the difference this micro switch, uh, two horsepower rated for my hoist, my motor, is like $5 Canadian. I bought four of these on Amazon for $12. And all it does is clip in there. I mean, it just goes into these little holes here, this hole here, this hole here. And on the outside, I got to drill an inch and a quarter hole. I push in this button. The operation is very nice and smooth. So instead of paying a couple hundred bucks, I can now replace this micro switch for $5. I don't have to replace this unless it breaks or wears out because they're two separate components. So for a couple bucks, you can get your hoist back up and running without paying Wheeltronics or Jim Bean uh, $200 for the exact same equipment.